Hi, my name is Don Cloyd, and this is my wife, Michelle. We have been married for 23 years, and we have been with Caris City since the beginning, which has been approximately one year now. Growing up, I did not know Jesus. I grew up without Him in my life. I did not know who God was. I started drinking at a very early age. One night at work, a friend of mine came up and introduced me to what Jesus actually, who He is, and what He has done for us and it changed my life briefly for about nine months. After nine months of a, a wonderful change, I went back to my old ways. I started drinking again. It was hard. Um, I threatened to leave several times, but I didn't want to because we both come from divorced families and I didn't want that for our kids. And um, so, I mean, it just, it was, it, it got, it was very, very difficult. Uh, it was May 2011. I was sitting at a bar one night with a couple of buddies of mine, and in that moment I was drinking a beer in a clear glass, and I was about halfway done with it, when all of a sudden I got it about halfway, and I was taking that sip, and looking in the bottom of that glass, and all of a sudden a voice spoke to me and said, there's nothing in the bottom of that glass for you. And at that moment, that same voice spoke to me and said, go home and be with your family. So after I put that beard down, I, I looked at it and I smiled because I knew something was changed. There was something different that was happening in my life at that moment. I knew that I was never going to touch alcohol again. So I called, well, I texted my wife during the day at work and talking about how much I love you and stuff, will you love me forever? And she said, well, we've got to talk tonight. How about if we go to dinner? I was like, perfect, let's go to dinner. So we did, we went to Sawgrass and we're sitting down to have a nice meal. And I looked at her and I said, baby, you're not gonna believe this. I quit drinking. I, I don't, can't explain it, but that was it. I'm done, there is no more drinking. It is awesome. Yeah, at that point I was like, Oh, great, you know, this is another promise that you're not going to keep because he's done this before. And so I was like, yeah, okay, good for you. But I filed for divorce. All the anger and the resentment and the hurt and was pent up, I mean, you know, inside me. Um, I even went outside our marriage, had a relationship outside of our marriage. Um, so I threw all that on the table at him, just everything I could think of just to hurt him and lash back at him. I believe it, I, I started reading the Bible, I started reading the Gospels, and I realized what Jesus had done, forgiveness. He always talks about forgiveness. So in the moment that I found out that she had stepped out of the relationship, I looked at her and I told her straight up, I forgive you and I forgive him. Uh, and I'll do anything that I can and I just want you to know that I forgive you and I just pray that you can forgive me for everything that I have done one weekend and he decided to go, this is before I even forgave him. Um, I, I was like, I just wanna be alone. I just wanna be alone because I left alone. And so he took the, he was, said, I'm gonna take the kids to Galveston with some friends of ours. And I was like, good, go, because I don't wanna be around you, <laughs> you know? And he did and I'll never forget it because, you know, it was as loud as day and voice in my head said, you want to be alone, this is what alone's like. And I, I just felt empty, like it was just, there was nothing, there was a big huge void there. And I was like, for whatever reason, I'm like, no, I don't want this, I don't, I don't want to be alone. So that's, to me, that was when, I think the major turning point for me was at that point saying, okay, and when he came home, I was like, okay, we'll, we'll do this, you know. At a moment that we were about to end our relationship, God brought it back together in a way that only He can. There is no other explanation for how we could go through the things that we did. Forgiveness is, de is definitely a game changer. Yeah. But the forgiveness that we're talking about is a godly forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Because without Him at the center of it all, forgiveness really meant nothing before the things that we went through. It, it took us going through those moments to really learn what forgiveness is through the eyes of God. Before it was 
you have this a suitcase and you pack it full of stuff and it's bulging at the seams and once we forgave it opened up and everything was released I think I felt light um, I feel more at peace than I did before it's not easy no. it's not easy but it's definitely worth the fight